What is happening, everybody? Welcome to the next guide on Age of Darkness Final Stand. And just as a prerequisite to most of these, as you can see in the bottom right, we are in early access. And the uh, um, it's sort of the day one patch that is uh, I'm working off, which is the one that fixed the storehouse glitch for resources. But I'm off patch 1.1.130. So everything I say here could and is likely to change in the future. But today's video is about map clearing. So some of this, the videos I'm currently working on around the advanced strategies and getting sort of uh, through the final stand or the final night is um, reliant heavily on your ability to map clear, open up the map to its fullest, get access to all of the resources that you're going to need, especially for the end of the game. And this video is dedicated on how to effectively clear the map um, and open it up. So there'll be some timestamps in... Um, the description and hopefully um, some chapters at the bottom now that I've got a better understanding of how they work. Um, but first off, we're going to talk about sort of the very early game. So literally from when you open up the map, uh, taking your units round, how you go about you know pushing out to which ones, when to sort of fall back, how you would defend your base in that early stage because you're, you're keeping your base at that early stage are wide open. We're then going to move into once you uh, unlock the refined workshop and get access to the sentinels and arbalists how that sort of impacts the update and again f subsequently once you up uh, unlock the forge how that sort of uh, does the map clear and also how you deal with this you know the points of interest and nightmares along the way because i've got a better strategy than building a base to def defeat a, a nightmare as i did in my sort of new player guide so yeah that's map clearing um please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff off the back of this if you found it useful and informative if you haven't or there's other things you think i've missed please leave a comment down below uh just to help me help the community um because i am for one really enjoying this game um so yeah i'll now cut to the beginning of a game and I say there's gonna be some cuts through this you're not gonna see that the whole thing so it's nice and concise um and once a point is made i will stop so yeah i'll see you guys for the beginning of the game Okay, and yes, before anybody points out, I am playing on easy. Uh, the reason why I do my videos on easy is because it's easy and because I can get through the sort of the nights and death nights uh, a lot, lot quicker. Um, but the strategy is still valid for, you know, all of the tiers. I say I'm, I'm currently on heroic. So, um, yeah, all up, definitely up to that is, is good. First off, before I say on my uh, previous videos, I said to just take your soldiers, actually take them all. I find that a lot better. And again, the main premise off the start for map clearing is going to be the same. Push out, find some choke points uh, and build from there. Other things to do is um, to start to build. Um, you're going to see me building some resource and stuff as we go as well. So yeah, here we go. Let's just... Um, Go off to one. I always push that as two. I know there's a shortcut for it. We've got a um, a good lumber yard place here. And we're just going to push out and about. So find them choke points and start clearing out the enemies. So with the um, archers as well, we're just going to be able to clear so much more, so much quicker. Because of that uh, extra extra units that we have going. Um, and that's, been, look, that's a great little choke point there. I'm looking for stone, so um, as I haven't found any stone going this way, I'm going to push up, keeping an eye on when I can get my sort of lumber yard, because that's what I want. First off, let's kill this. Just going to move this one over here, so we can get some decent lumber. 23 is a great start. Let's push on up this way. Another corpse for the pyre. Okay, because I've got this, you know, have I missed one? I have. Yeah. What? Excellent, Paul. Great starts. So there's some stone, which we're gonna obviously head towards. So let's just keep pushing and again and this is the basic of what you're going to do off the start is you're going to go around find your resources that you need that stone is particularly poor 
as well so i'm not overly impressed with that but again finding choke points like here that's a great defensive choke point um and one i will probably utilize to its extent um going forwards i need some noble again still need to get used to oh, i need 15 wood okay still need something again another good choke point there it's good so yeah this is oh i've got an elite nightmare where's that Ugh, right near my bloody base always handy but again you're sort of finding out places when you're sort of not looking you know when you can't effectively kill them very very quickly um and your health starts taking massive pummelings like my soldier there's just taking a big hit that's time that's when you know to stop pushing um so just back out let your health regain and then for instance i could just take them come in and take him down. The archers should do some good damage here as well. So get out. And they've got bloody horrid. But that's fine. We'll just push them near the keep. And yeah, so that's sort of the, the initial sort of phase. Not much too different from before. I need to um, actually build some stuff, Paul. Let's build this. Six stone. Bloody, bloody awful. And I need 15 wood still for that. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. I will... Um, sort of pick up again once we've uh, unlocked the training workshop and uh, or the training hall I should say and we'll, we'll take it on from there okay a couple of things uh, just to give you an update of the map we pushed out here obviously we saw this come down here we obviously know about this choke point here which is good um, obviously I've came up around here there's another good choke point here potentially that might be be water so it makes that even better but i need to go and explore up there i've just stationed an archer here just because stuff will come down here i've cleared out a store here with these units i've got a couple of units down here just removing their horror um so, so they should be okay let's just push that on uh you can come up here um and i've got a training hall going and what i tend to try and do now for a map clearing is get a lot of archers a couple of um soldiers just to help with the the hero just to make sure they're okay bit of defense but archers can dish out a lot of damage um and if you get a few of them you can just start to pick off quite a lot as you can see i've also started to just build a lot of housing a lot of farms uh, we're up okay here um and i've just also through um the wood workshop here uh i'm researching the fire sconce because i think that well, that is, for me, really, really great one for when death days approach. You don't get the uh, sort of enemies coming into this bit. Um, but also just gives you a bit more visibility around. So I can plump one here, see what's here. Probably plump one here, maybe here, just to see what's sort of coming around. Uh, and again, I've got a, a weak point here as well. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is just train up probably 10, 12 archers at this point. Uh, and just get a nice army uh, doing that and as you see i've got a waypoint here i'm actually oh gold i'm gonna push out here and grab that gold um probably push up here so i'm gonna set the actual waypoint to here uh and yeah i will just continue to build farms i'll continue to build houses um i'm gonna upgrade to the lodge and the farm as well uh, as soon as i can they're sort of the next ones for me um and then potentially into the braced tower will be great but for the first sort of death knight what i've got here plus a normal standard tower should be sufficient so yeah that's what i'm going to do next is say just build up a load of archers just to help with that initial clearing and then finding resource nodes is is what you need to do um and then i need to pick a pick a side of which way i'm going to go so we'll have that um decision made uh, at the beginning of the next one Okay, another little useful addition uh, for map clearing for me is as I've sort of pushed up this way, I've noticed there's some iron up here. Um, sort of held this up here. Um, and I sort of came up here and just put a, uh, a defensive down because this is a pinch point that or choke point that I'm going to want to use. And if they decide they want to come down here, that's an even better choke point. So I want to quickly touch on choke points. I'm going to have a, a more dedicated video on um, sort of advanced strategies and things. But as I come back up here, if they swarm through this point their numbers mean nothing so you can have three thousand units trying to swarm into here but their units mean nothing so this is a great defensive spot 
to the point where I'm now building uh, a couple of towers here and I'm going to build up some more uh, archers just to come and, and just have this as a permanent defense because I'm getting towards a death day or death night I should say and I need to start thinking about defenses so I'm just going to keep the two here sort of start to save my resources and as I sort of going I'm building up um, houses I'm building up food rations and just exploring out as I can um, so yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment but yeah just wanted to annotate that because this is such a great defensive spot uh, even if the last death night wave comes this way this is a place I really want to defend um, unless I find a better one further up then I can just have this as a secondary but just wanted to make sure that you know when you see things like this on your way this means i'm now going to probably force myself out this way looking for resources i've got some iron here as you see i don't have any my stone production is really really low which is going to start to hinder me as i go forwards so i need to go and literally find some more stone um you know and no my luck it's some there's some just here so i might do um an exploration sort of after the uh the death knight out to this point as well just to see if i can find some more stone locally but yeah just wanted to say if you see places like this just set up a defense it's so good okay just another quick one uh i've got these both fully laden and a cheese factor that you can get is to go in here and then just start to pull these enemies back it's sort of like a, my nightmare um elite nightmare sort of guide in my starter guide but yeah uh because i've used a couple of the archers that i would normally use to to roam just depleted my um stock slightly i just want to uh yeah be a bit safe and just pull these guys in and out so let's just uh do that now watch this so you come in you start to to attack and then you, what you can do is just bring them back and as you see they're slowly but surely sort of coming back and then the archers at the back take them out and because the archers have so much more range than the other guys um yeah they literally can't do anything to Stop, see. Get my flame sword on, because why not? Yeah, and look, they're even attacking from here. So yeah, that's how good these sort of pinch point defenses against these places are. And then you can see how effective I'm becoming. Oh, I'm about to lose a unit. I wasn't paying attention. It's my soldier. So let's just back out here. Back out, Paul. Come on. Again, and if you you're seeing that type of thing where you're getting overloaded just just back out i'm going to put a fire sconce up here as well and now just watch them get pummeled because yeah by the time they get here they're dead and then the archers and stuff behind um help so yeah that's how you can help effectively just clear some of these points really really quickly so let's keep going and i am i now need to start building more farms and stuff because that's just unlocked so Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys uh, for the next cut. Okay, a couple of important things to note here. Obviously, my first Death Knight is coming, and it's in a place that sucks. So, I don't actually know at this point, because I've been starting to... I've gone in a circular pattern, which isn't ideal. I should have gone out to one, but I started to go this way. wasn't finding any resources um, of note, apart from, you know, a little bit of gold. Sort of came down this way again saw this and decided to go a different route so i started to come out this way um and i found obviously some iron which is really really good but i haven't sort of focused out one way or another and because of that you know if i'd have gone lucky and gone straight up i would have known pathing so at this moment in time i have no idea which way it's going to path now i've started to click to come here and it looks like i can probably come up and around here so i need to make a decision on which way are they going to come and it might be that i need to lose some resources to um because i'm going to pick a side because it's right above the keep there's the keep and if i go straight up literally right above the keep so i need to pick a side i'm hoping it comes this way so i'm going to build a couple of towers here um, I'm going to sit them right back so I don't pull the elite. Um, and again, I now need to make a call. Is it going to come down through here? Which, if they link, it might as well do. Or it could come here. I'm hoping it comes down here because that gives me a better defensive position for later on. But uh, we'll see um, where we are. But again, on when the Death Knight approaches, just 
I tend to do is just come back. If you know or have a great idea of what path they're coming on, set up some defenses and just hold your map clearing at that point. Um, but just keep building, keep building, keep building. Um, I'm going to start building, say, a refined workshop here because I want it. I don't even have the ballista tower upgraded just yet because I'm pumping a lot of resources into um, housing, into units. And uh, yeah, because that's what you need to do to go and get the resources. Um, you know, I'm struggling for stone at the moment. So that's my primary focus at the moment is finding them stone deposits. So yeah, when a death knight comes in, um, you just need to prepare for that first one and uh, and then go back into map clearing mode right after that. Okay, literally survived that death knight. It did come down through here, which is quite nice. Uh, so for me, there's an elite nightmare here. I'm gonna, I've got a fire sconce down. I'm not going to worry about that too much. And obviously, just while the Death Knight is on, um, I wasn't really paying too much attention to resources and got a couple of things maxed. So again, just again, reset and um, endeavor to always keep building stuff. So we've got this up. I still need to do some of this. Let's get the brace tower up for that because that's going to be great. Getting the towers up to the maximum is going to be good as well. But once we've got um, the refined workshop up, I'm going to then be able to, if I can actually click the right button, um, start getting arbalists. So once we've got arbalists, um, I will cut uh, back. And um, yeah, we shall see from there. That could be a little bit problematic but we'll we'll see how that goes from there okay i've built a few um arbalists uh i need some more stone and that's the sort of thing i normally by this point i would have hoped to have hit a side of a map but i'm actually now going to come out towards this and here um stone is becoming a pain in the ass for me so uh, a lot of the things like the arbalists need stone i know when i get to the impalers they need stone i need to finally do the ballista um which is great uh, and i need to start to upgrade some of this stuff but i need to max out and, and start to worry about resources so uh, but i've got the arbalists and i just want to show you why they're so good we'll just start to burn through the stuff with your hero you can obviously do its ability even better um bit late game sort of the healer um the hero is not as great for clearing uh but you just want arbalists there you go arbalists for the win they basically can one shot um enemies which makes them really really useful need these resources that wood i didn't really need but the stone for sure and i've got another why did i train an archer oh well so we're going to push on we're going to take this down and again i'm just going to showcase how good arbalists are for clearing once they start shooting, that's it. You're, you're you're in good good hands, and they can literally just again. This is what it it means to be an arbalist, and this is why getting that refined workshop is so good so early, uh, you know, and be lining that against some of the other sort of upgrades that you could go for. Um, I really need this, so I'm gonna prioritize getting this. Upgrade complete. And now let's, while they're clearing it, do that. And then what I will get, um, house, not 100%, you know, not going to grab straight off the bat to bring everyone in here so they can shoot. Let's get a bit of a clear just to ease some pressure. And again, it's just, this is how you can now wave clear and you can clear even more once you get access to things like the impaler which uh, I will come to next. But yeah, I'm going to go around and try and uh, get some more resources. Another great pinch point here if some stuff wants to come this way. But as you can see now, with this little mini army that I've got down the bottom here, how effective we are at clearing. When you want to heal, you just back off a little bit. But I'm going to come up here, grab this. There's a pinch point as well. So I just want to expand my base, but I'm probably going to just loop back down and expand this bottom bit. So yeah, I'll cut you once we've got some more uh, units to help with that wave clear. Okay, I just want to showcase the power that this army now has with um, sort of an elite that we've got. I've got a couple of, well, I've got these three units from just clearing this. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is, if possible, let's just put a, a defense down just because 
yeah, there's some um, some good stuff around here. Um, I've got a tower here which I haven't actually used, and that's under attack, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, I want to take on this with um, sort of a lot of arbalists that we've got now. I've obviously, picked up some sentinels from uh, another sort of camp, um, and I'm literally down here because I wanted to take this out so I can upgrade this. Still lacking stone but it is what it is um yeah and this is just the power of of this uh skill tree wise i have put a few things in um I've gone for increased damage and i'm going to go into critical cover i could actually start pushing in not back but it is stone but i'm gonna go knock back into stun as well but yeah let's take this thing down and just showcase how good this team is just waiting for it all to move up quite nicely and now oh, let's just go Fine. I've got no one in there. Yes. Well done. Paul. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, come back and he's dead, basically. So yeah, that's how good. I go. How good these are. I didn't really showcase that well, but uh, you, because <laughs> I didn't need to, uh, in in a, in essence. So um, yeah. Let's go over and grab this while we're here. I need. Oh, on tick over. Let's move these down here. Just gold. Golden ore is just an absolute ball ache for me in this map. But it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to get that um, done. So yeah, that's how quickly we can take down Elite. Um, and yeah, we'll showcase some more wave clearing shortly. Okay, we've got a Death Knight on, and um, I haven't prepared particularly well for this one. I wasn't sure which way it's coming, but I just wanted to showcase actually how viable um, these units are for for attack, uh, for defense as well. Um, it's not going to survive particularly well, this defense, but with that knockback, as I was saying, and just the units that we've got, they're so good. That's just... Uh, Bring our Arbalist in. I've got a Nightmare that's going to spawn right behind me as well. Um, so we'll probably have to do something about that. But yeah, as you can see, um, I've happened to go from one side of the map. Because the where I'm starting to... Are you okay? Oh, you're all going to go down, but that's fine. Um, yeah, as you can see here, just look. With the Impalers, um, with the Arbalists, it just becomes so, so good. To the point that we're down to seven already and um yeah there we go done and that's the power of of these uh that's pretty decent actually uh dark crystal revolt next day so i can just prepare a little bit earlier um it's not min maxing um at all that one but uh yeah let's come in here and just use this Our defenses i'm gonna under attack. eject them as well And it'll just get them, all of them nice resources. Yeah, that's how good, uh, sort of, as a wave clearing function, they're good at defenses as well. So yeah, I'll stop here. Next thing you'll see was me getting in the forge and getting some more siege weaponry and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Okay, the sort of final showcase of why this is so good. I've got a couple of impalers. I picked up a couple of impalers and flame dudes from um, sort of some resource nodes. Found another sort of gold thing here. So that's just ticking up quite nicely. But again, this is not an advanced strategy guide, Paul. This is the wave clearing. And I just want to just blitz through this and just showcase the, the awesome power that we have at our disposal right now. So these big dudes... Yeah, they may see, but look, we're just absolutely ripping through them at this point. It's great. Uh, don't attack these. Um, you do get some better resources, but um, yeah, you just, you're going to die. So I, I tend to put up um, these. Attack. What have we got over here? Oh, you're just doing that. I That's fine. Just keep him ticking over. So I just keep behind a defense every now and then. Are you going to kill him? So, yeah. By your will. And look, I've gone away for a couple of seconds and then boom. You just see how it's just literally gone. No units died under here. 
it's just so so good um impalers and um arbalists are, are just amazing um so i'm actually looking now to see where this is going to to go it's just, i've done about two thirds of the map i've got like down into the, that's the bottom bottom corner so um yeah i'm gonna just carry on and um we'll showcase the um the map clear once it's done um obviously got a death knight i'll probably have to navigate first um but yeah it's uh it's really really good impalers and but mainly arbalists as well they're just so good um and the impalers if there's a group of them together just rip through them like nobody's business i uh, i'm gonna presume that's where they're gonna come up so i'll uh, probably have a defense set here at that point so yeah thank you very much uh, i'll showcase the full map clear and if anything else significant comes up in the meantime okay just a quick update let me just pause here we're halfway through um sort of the final death night cycle and then you go into the sort of the last night and i've cleared the uh the map there's obviously a little bit here um i haven't pushed up here in this corner as i pushed up i was starting to take this down and as you can see it's uh yeah it's nearly dead so ultimately i couldn't push it up here um and i'm in that sort of funny funny phase where i'm now just waiting for the end um i've got a, a piece here that's going to spawn out uh in the f sort of final wave and it's going to come up and it's going to hit here so i'm going to start to build some defenses across here um to supplement that um similarly up here we've got this one just starting to build some here i'll come on to to this piece um in a moment obviously this is my the last wave before that and i've sort of kept this sort of clear they've i've had a couple of waves that just come out of here and, and spawn through here um and i think the route that they're going to want to take is up here because i had something here um and they kept trying to come up here. So what I've tried to do, because I'd already started to build my defences, is just goat them into coming this way. Because uh, they'll start, keep going where they're getting attacked at. Um, so I'm hoping they will do that. I've got some defences up here um, if needed. And to the point I should put Aye. a few of them up here. Um, and then with sort of the impalers um, that we've got here. And that um, should do it. Um, again, just trying to keep them down here as much as possible. Is there anything that doesn't involve stone? Probably just houses. So I'm just going to build a shed ton of houses down here just to see if I can get them to come this way and force that, that piece. Um, down here is this one. That will come up to here um pretty pretty well defended at this moment in time again i'll probably build um up a few more defenses there that's for a flanking so yeah we're sort of done with the map um your command <laughs> yeah just do that Might as well Research get them going complete. get them all ticking over and then we'll go into there again this is where they will also come up so i just need to defend here so um yeah so we've sort of cleared the map at this stage and it's now just making sure we've got the adequate defenses to uh, survive the last sort of waves to complete it but um really disappointed i've only got 83 stone and that's we've maxed out quarries and everything just quarries are nowhere to be seen um similarly i've got a lot of iron i hardly put any wood down and i've just got a lot of gold coming in purely just because of um everything but yeah i've seen a lot of gold on this map um a lot of iron this map not much stone which makes this type of defense situation um a little bit challenging so let me just increase this up a bit but yeah um that's it for this video thank you very much um as i've said at the beginning please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff it really really does help me out um if this is the winnings battle i'll have a video up for uh, for that as well so thank you very much everyone and i'll catch you guys in the next one